Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be covering what I believe are the top five weapons, especially for some of the new players that are starting here in Red Dead Online now that Red Dead Online is out of the beta phase. I want to share what I believe are the top five but if you guys have another top five then let me know down in the comments what they are and why you prefer them over certain weapons now the first two weapons are actually currently on me i have the bolt action rifle and i have the springfield rifle now these are fairly comparable and uh, i'm just going to kind of go over the differences just real quick now we got the damage is higher on the Springfield versus the bolt action rifle. The range is farther on the bolt action rifle. The fire rate is just slightly better on the bolt action. Reload is better on the bolt action rifle. Accuracy is actually a little bit better. And obviously don't worry about the condition right now. So overall, it looks like the it looks like the bolt action rifle should win. And this is actually one of my go-to weapons, especially when I am hunting big game, like a cougar or a grizzly bear or what whatnot. I pretty much always have this in one of my one of my slots down here. So either my left or my bottom. And I always have it available just in case something happens to come up. However, if you guys saw the animation at the very beginning, there was a reload every single time that you pull it up. So if I actually pull up my, my double barrel shotgun and then if I bring up my bolt action rifle, I have to basically round, put a round in the chamber right away. Now, if I switch to my Springfield rifle, I can actually fire right away before I actually have a reload. So that actually gives a little bit of a benefit for it. I don't have to worry about the reload. Now there's actually a, another really big benefit of having the Springfield rifle. One, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the bolt action rifle. However, all the statistics point to actually the bolt action rifle just being slightly better, but I don't really know. Now, one of the big reasons if we actually go into cover, you can see that I can immediately fire. But if I fire a bolt action, I'm not only one, I have to reload first, but if I'm down in cover, I have to aim in order to actually fire this. So if I'm playing any type of PVP or whatnot, I have to actually cock that gun right away. Now, the other way that I can actually do this is by reloading here, which takes significantly longer. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. So honestly, guys, if I were you, if I was a brand new player, I'd be going after the Springfield rifle as far as the rifles go, just because of the benefit that you don't have to worry about when you're hiding behind cover or that initial loading of the the gun now obviously a really good starting rifle is the varmint rifle now this thing is still used by a lot of people today and uh, for pvp but you can see that we had that first initial cocking but it's it's fire fire rate is actually really really fast which makes it really good for pvp so, and obviously, if you combine it with certain ability cards, it can actually make it a lot better. But this thing, if you have the Ultimate Edition, was free. And honestly, I can't remember exactly how much it costs. So let's go ahead and pull up our catalog here just real quick. I know that the Springfield Rifle is definitely cheaper than, um, than the Bolt Action Rifle. But if we go down to Rifles here... We can see that the Varmint Rifle is only $72, so it's even half the cost of the Springfield Rifle. And then we got the Bolt Action Rifle, which it goes up to $216. So it's basically three times cheaper for the Varmint Rifle versus the Bolt Action Rifle. So this, is, this thing's really, really good. Now, however, if we look at the damage and the range on it, it is significantly lower than that of the Springfield rifle or even the bolt action rifle. So this is why you might have to eventually upgrade. However, the varmint rifle is used a lot still in PVP and I've actually used it in some of my latest uh, matches based on my ability cards that I'm currently using. So if you guys definitely want to see a video about the my cards that I use, my ability cards, then definitely let me know down in the comment section what you guys would like to see or if that's a video that you guys would like to see in the very near future. 
So now if we kind of go back, I kind of want to go down into the revolver section and I kind of want to compare certain uh, certain revolvers. Now obviously we have the kind of the basics as the Cattleman and we also have the double action or the, the Schofield. Now personally, I really like the Schofield revolver. One, it's half, basically half the cost of the Lamont. The Lamont is 317 versus the 198. So I can almost, or 192, I can almost buy two of the school fields if you are able to do wield for the price of one. But the damage, I believe, on the Lamont is actually just slightly better. However, you do get that muzzle loader action on there. So you can quickly swap between revolver and shotgun and get that one shot kill so is the price really worth it to do wield at 600 and roughly 40 dollars versus less than 400 dollars total especially when you're a brand new player here to to red dead online so if you have the money the lamont revolver is going to be a better option for you but if you don't have the money then i believe that the schofield revolver is going to be a little bit better option for you guys now i personally don't really use revolvers that much because i want to kind of get into what i personally use which is going to be under the sh shotgun category and i do wield the sawed off shotgun now i love these things and they are almost half the cost of a school field revolver now obviously if you're dual wielding them you get four shots if you're only single wielding it you're only getting you know two shots very quickly but the damage is so high and combined with certain ability cards this this sawed off shotgun is a something to be not something to be messed with it is by does a significant amount of damage and I use it a lot in all of my PVP sessions. There's a reason why if you guys watch some of my PVP or even some of my videos on PVP that I'm always wielding dueled off shotguns. Now if shotguns aren't your thing, then definitely go with the revolver that it's it's more of a personal preference to be honest when it comes down to dual wielding. I just really like the shotgun because when I'm that close to use even I mean, I have my, my varmint rifle, I'm using my uh, bolt action rifle, my Lancaster repeater, and what, my Evans repeater, pretty much a majority of the time. However, if I'm getting close and I know somebody is getting close to me or if I'm inside of a building, the sawed of shotgun is definitely a way to go. So number one is my we have my Springfield rifle. Number two is the varmint rifle, and number three is the sawed off shotgun. Now, I know a lot of people might not agree with the sawed off shotgun, and that's perfectly fine. And I would love to start that debate with you guys down in the comments section. Now, the next two weapons that I would actually like to talk about are going to be the Evans Repeater and the Lancaster Repeater. Now, by far, my favorite repeater or weapon in the entire game right now is the Lancaster Repeater. But... The Evans Repeater is honestly pretty much a quick comparison. Now, the one thing that I do like about the Evans Repeater versus the Lancaster is uh, there's 12, sh we only have 14 shots with the Lancaster. Both the Evans Repeater, we actually get 26. 26. And actually, I really like the way that the Evans Repeater sounds versus the 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 Lancaster, it sounds like it's a lot more meatier or beefier of a weapon compared to the Lancaster. But honestly, direct like comparison, the Lancaster actually beats out the uh, Evans Repeater in actually most uh, categories. So obviously, if you have better ammo types with it, then the Lancaster just seems like it's going to be a little bit better. But honestly, having that 26 rounds in in the chamber or available to you guys at any time is an amazing uh, advantage compared to any other weapon that we have here in Red Dead Online. So if you guys are looking for kind of that, like that go-to weapon for, for PVP, that mid range weapon, not really that long range or not really that close range, like a, a, a double or a sawed off shotgun is going to be, but I would have to say that one, either one of these is going to be really good. Now, it's a, it's more of a personal preference. Do you want 26 
um, ammo available to you right away, or do you want the Lancaster? Otherwise, they're basically the exact same. So, so far on my list, we have the Lancaster, we have the Springfield r r rifle, we have the Varmint rifle, and then we have the d uh, dual, uh, the sawed-off shotgun or the dual-wielding sawed-off shotgun. But now for my last round or my last top five of today, I'm not giving these in any specific order, is the dual-wielding Lamont revolvers. Now, these things are absolutely amazing. And now that uh, this thing actually has one shotgun shell available to us, then this thing is pretty much comparable to the sawed off shotgun which which is really nice about this is if you aim it you can actually change it to a shotgun very very quickly and there is a setting that you guys can change if you guys want it to automatically switch from shotgun to revolver if the ammo actually does run out so if you're dual wielding these things you can easily switch both of them to shotgun both of them to revolver and then you can actually just switch back and forth which is great. It's super handy, super quick to do it. Uh, the only bad thing about them is, is it does have a, um, a quick reload time. But this is kind of my going to weapon nowadays in, in PVP matches, like most wanted or anything like that. Because in close counter, I can easily switch it to shotgun. And I can actually just get ready and I can kind of just lay there and waiting for them. And then if they're coming at me from a distance, I actually have the option of dual wielding these things and going actually pretty decent. And then switching over to shotgun if they get close. Now instead of uh, four shots, I only get the two. And it does take a little bit of time to reload. But these things are absolutely amazing. Now they are a little bit more pricey. Um, and we kind of talked about it towards the beginning of this video. But if we actually look at revolvers one more time, they're $317 a piece, whereas the sawed off shotguns are only $111 a piece. So it's a third of the cost to get the sawed off shotgun. But the Lamont revolver is such dual purpose that it's hard not to have on a top five list. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. As I mentioned actually at the beginning of the video as well, if you guys have a different top five weapons here for Red Dead Online, then please leave a comment down below and share with the entire community and let everybody know why you guys like those specific weapons. But if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.